and have the Al-Ajisa, Da'ifu, Miskinu, Zalim, Jahan. But for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence, alhamdulillah with the holy month of Shahwan it opens up the reality of the power of nine by the tenth lunar month and the secret of ninety. And Allah's ismullah from the al khairat the 99 names of Allah al-Mani, the one whom preventer of harm. And the 90, 90th name of Sayyidina Muhammad Ni'matullah, the immense blessings of Allah And the 90th surah is Surat al-Balad and the holy city, holy precincts and some of the realities of the holy surah. When Allah asking, but He hath not attempted the ascension. And then another holy ayah from 90 verse 13, and it is to free a slave, inshaAllah Allah dress from its hijab and its immense realities of the zikr of this hijab in which Allah is eternally dressing the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Subhana man dul arshi amma yasifun. Glory be to the owner of a throne above all else that is attributed to him. And alhamdulillah that the Ursa Mubarak of Hajamina Adil and the lights of her reality and her sainthood from one of the 40 abdal of Shams Sharif. And an author of the Muhammadan realities and a spiritual teacher of ours that inspire the realities of Shamsul Arifin, the 12 veils of this reality and its eternal dress, and the creation of the Muhammadan light. So, Allah dress her darajat higher and higher, and that her nazar always be upon us, upon our families and our communities. And that her her love and the immense love that emanates from her reality to to dress us and to bless us and to to watch over us and inspire within our hearts these realities that draw us near to Allah's infinite rahmah. This is the immense rahmah from Allah when He send these awliyaullah that they put a light and a and a blessing within the heart and soul of the students, so to as draw near to Allah It's by means of those, those ni'mats, those knowledges that the student is moving closer and closer to the reality of the Divine the Presence. And we pray that Allah inspire our hearts towards these realities that when we're entering on this eternal journey every year and Ramadan comes to annihilate the servant with all of their character and all of the badness that built upon them. It's an immense mercy of Allah to bring the servant into an ocean of annihilation in which Ramadan al-Muntaqeem destroys all the bad character, destroys the, the bad nafs and returns the servant to a state of purity like a newborn child. And in that state like Qashiya, like a nuqt, like a dot Allah opens the realities of Shawwal and the tenth lunar month. And this is the opening towards the ascension into the Malakut into that reality in which Allah take the whole nation from their state of nothingness into the presence of the one. And the reality of one and zero opens for the servant and the reality of what this dunya uses as a binary code for all their technologies, all their advancements. For spirituality the binary code is essential in our understanding that the only way to reach to the one is to be nothing. 
But mankind they are more interested in being something. So they continuously keep the presence of being on and self-help, self-everything, self this, self that is they've allowed their nafs to overtake their reality and the nafs only wants to be in existence. The nafs only thinks of itself as an existence and it continuously makes the servant to be in a state of on in which they're all about themselves, all about being on and tariqahs come to teach, be off. So all the teachings of, of be nothing, that be nothing is a way of teaching us on how to turn off. That what I want, turn it off. What I want to say, turn it off. When we're getting angry, turn it off. All of these characteristics bring down the fire of the nafs. Means every time we have anger, every time we have these characteristics it's because the nafs is offended, the nafs wants to be identified, the nafs wants to show itself and then become more and more stronger. When Allah is asking in this holy surah that, why you don't try the ascension? Why is it that you don't leave the circumference and leave your mulk, leave your physical world of form and ascend into the horizons and into the spiritual kingdom? Why don't you free the slave? And the slave within us is, is the reality of our inner self that is being held captive. That to destroy the nafs, to bring down the nafs and allow the soul its freedom to enter back into the Divinely Presence instead of holding it captive with all the bad characteristics. So the, the, the reality of that balad and that city is the city of light, Madinatul Munawwara is to enter into the city of light that make a life in which you are trying to leave only the physical understanding in our life, in our work, in our existence, everything just from the physical. But what is my spiritual reality and what is my spiritual purpose and where is my spiritual sustenance? And am I moving my soul towards that Divinely Presence to receive its inspirations, to receive its lights, to receive its blessings? And these are the immensities of, of this month and the reality of the binary code. And everything that we do is if I'm learning to be off, I'm reaching towards the One. And we've described many times that if you come on you push yourself away from the Divine, the Presence because it's not an energy that can enter into that reality at this side. On the other side it's something different. On this side of the mulk and the world of form it repels itself from the One of the Divine, the Presence. To, to move into the Presence of the Divine, the Presence from the mulk, from the material world as much as you're on you pushing away from that reality. So then they teach you that if you really want to reach that reality deflate your one until it becomes to come down. As your one is coming down the one from the Divinely Presence is now beginning to appear. And in their huruf, in their writing the ten is actually just a one with a nukht, just a little dot we don't have the zero as a ten. Zero in Arabic is just a dot. So as much as we're reducing ourselves by the teachings of because people are asking why the shaykh is always telling us to, to be nothing, to, to do like this, to efface ourselves is because the journey can't be completed. All these lights and realities and knowledges can't be sent upon the soul without this binary code, without this understanding of turning off. Just imagine our whole world without all these technologies. The technology only exists because of on and off, they call it one and zeros. And it's a code that's so high above all other numeric codes that every other code and program that's written to reduce the amount of letters to numbers and letters, numbers and numbers, machine language is a series of one and zeros. 
and humans can't communicate in mach- machine language. Means for us, because the computer is a symbol of our reality, Allah says, programmers are like awliya. That regular people all they know are just letters they typing all day long. Heavenly programmers are awliya because Allah gives them codes and they know that certain sentences can be reduced to letters and numbers, letters and numbers like an analogy. And they have very high level programmers that they can commute, communicate just in a numeric code for example. But none of them can communicate in one and zero and that's reserved for the reality of Ahad and the reality of Ahmad and what computer people call machine language that no, nothing can communicate at that level of reality. And Allah made the heavens and duplicated for people to understand their computers. So that as much as you want you can advance in your programming but you don't have the ability to communicate in one and zeros and they call it a machine language. For those whom understood themselves there's a language in which only Allah speaks to Prophet and nothing enters into that. Not Sayyidina Jibra'il, not an angel, not a prophet, not anything in creation can enter into that reality when Ahad is communicating by however Allah wants to communicate to the reality of Nabi Ahmad and that has an immense reality of, of lights and energies and that's why Prophet described, I have a reality that always facing Allah because it's receiving from Allah eternally and I have a reality that faces the nation. And this has an immense reality. So understanding of our spiritual binary code is an understanding that if I don't learn from these shaykhs how to turn off, <clears throat> how to control my anger, my characteristics which are all a sign of being on. So if somebody says, well can I reach to there and, and still be angry, so no. Because it's a sign of being on, it's not a sign of being off because Allah is going to continuously test, continuously test until the servant, servant is able to deflate themselves and negate themselves. If they're able to negate themselves <clears throat> they reach to that reality of a nuqt. Ramadan is the immense maker of the nuqt. That when you come into the Ramadan and fasting by mouth, fasting by ears, fasting by eyes, fasting by all of our senses, fasting by our breath, Allah is reducing all of these bad characteristics so that He can open these realities upon the soul. Then they reach to their binary reality in which they're nothing. At that nothingness the tenth month of Shawwal comes and awliyaullah are moved in as dust into the Divinely Presence. And hence the difficulty that we see all around us when Allah is show like everything just collapses in the presence of these immense qudra, immense powers. Allah is showing then be dust in my Divinely Presence. To be dressed by the Divinely One, to be dressed by its izzat and, and its might, inshaAllah Allah open for us its understandings and give us a life in which to, <coughs> if we can achieve that nothingness and to be dressed by the reality of the One, then from the side of the Divinely Oceans Allah make that nuqt to rise with energy and that one begins to reflect like a divine mirror to your reality in which you become the mirror of the One and that becomes the completion then onto the twelve towards the hijrah and the appearance in the Divinely Presence. The hajj is not only to the Holy Kaaba but the real hajj of the soul Bayt al Mahmur to be in the Divinely Oceans and Divinely Presence in which the servant is being annihilated then dressed and then bless them took into the presence to be dressed by the Divinely Presence inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon 
Wa salamun al mursaleen Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen Click the link now to subscribe.